It's been the best loved and longest running musical in Los Angeles. But tonight, the final curtain call for the Phantom of the Opera. Turn your face away from the garish light of day. There have been three different phantoms during the 51 month long run. But through it all, there's been only one Christine. She is Dale Christian, the only one to perform all eight shows a week. She granted Channel 4 News an exclusive interview the night before the final performance. I don't think I can get through the last performance. I mean, emotionally, because I'm, because there is so much. I mean, I, I feel like it's like an era of my life. It's five years of my life that I've been playing Christine. And, uh, you know, there's just, I've said goodbye to Michael Crawford three times. You know, in the you know within the run of the show, um, Robert Guillaume. I mean, I lose it on that last performance, and now I have to say goodbye to myself. <laughs> and I just have my doubts about the you know the first thing I I I say is think of me fondly when we've said goodbye, and I just don't know how I'm going to get through it. appears smooth on stage but she says there have been plenty of rough rides along the way a lot of stuff happened and uh, um, especially in the beginning when the boat wasn't working and we'd you know you'd, the boat would keep going <laughs> off the stage we had to get off uh, I think there's nothing more thrilling than than to sing to people to sing to 2,000 people who are who are waiting to be told a story, and I get to tell it. I get to tell them a story, and I get to do it by singing. To talk about what you, what you bring to this number. This is my, it's my favorite. It's the first thing I do, and I, it's a high C, and I blast it. I mean, what makes me feel so good about this is when I can blast it. And my, <laughs> my, I said, you know, this show is coming to an end, and the only thing I want is to be in good voice so I can take that note and hold it forever. And that's our early news. We thank you for watching. Uh, we'll have nightly news coming up next. They'll have the latest, of course, on Hurricane Emily. We'll be back tonight at 11 o'clock. See you then.
Hopper will have a live report from the Amundsen Theater. Best running musical in the history of Los Angeles theater. The cast of Phantom of the Opera performed for the last time to the applause and tears of the audience. Our Stephen No is live with a news van in downtown Los Angeles. He has more. Stephen. Mark, there are still a few people leaving the music center after the very last one, Phantom of the Opera number 1785. The last show ended this afternoon at about 5.30 to a whole bunch of applause, well-deserved, the standing ovation, curtain call after curtain call, well-deserved round of applause from the audience lucky enough to see the very last Phantom. The show ran long today because throughout the entire show, the audience applauded longer and more frequently. So everybody knows what's coming and they're just on a high and they're clapping before it even happens practically because they're just really on a high. It's a party, it's a celebration, it is so much fun. Turn your face away from the garish light of day. Turn your thoughts away from cold, unfeeling love. This is my hundredth time to see the show today. <laughs> and I still cry. Oh, it's killing me. It's so sad. Because <laughs> I know I'm not going to see it again. It's just knowing that this is going to be their last time. And I'm feeling emotion for them. The, the very last Phantom of the Opera. People are leaving again, and I did not get a chance to see the very last show. I have seen it once, though, and I, I did not cry. But it was an excellent show, and it was a Los Angeles institution that we'll have to say goodbye to. Reporting live, I'm Stephen No, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Did he say production? The Phantom of the Opera ends its run at the Amundsen Theater tonight. <laughs> LA's longest running musical attracted hundreds of the faithful tonight during a final curtain call. During its 51 month run, Phantom captured more than $150 million. Three million people saw the production, which opened on the Amundsen stage back in May 1989. The show closes so the theater can undergo extensive renovation. It was a sentimental but enthusiastic audience and cast who relished some of the last moments of the production. And as you can imagine, all the final performances of the Phantom of the Opera were sold out. In fact, you couldn't even get in to see it, could That's you? That's true. I could kick myself when I, I tried earlier. I can't believe it's going to be gone. No, no, no more music of the night. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> the Amundsen Theater, the fat Phantom of the Opera, sang the music of the night for the last time. Silently the senses abandon their defense. It's a story that touches everybody. The yearning for love, the impossible love of a disfigured man for a beautiful opera star. The score is lush, the emotion is almost too much. Slowly, gently, light unfurls its splendor. Phantom, as it is known to millions, closed in Los Angeles tonight after four years, three months, more than $155 million in ticket sales and millions of fans, many of whom say they've seen the show more than once. Some claim to have seen it more than 100 times. Special, very, very special, Bob. We've had an opportunity to see it in London, New York, and here. Uh, we happen to be on the board of directors. This lady came all the way from Honolulu. The emotion was there, the theater, emotion. What else do we need? Will you miss it? Oh, certainly. It was fabulous. It was the best thing I've ever seen on stage. Michael Crawford opened as the Phantom in Los Angeles. Davis Gaines closed. His curtain speech was both modest and touching. Cast members cried and the audience cheered as he spoke directly to everyone in the house. Oh, we would have never run this long without your love and support. And on behalf of the entire company, uh, I want to thank you for being there for us. We love you, and God bless you. Love you, Dale. The cast and the audience agree it's been a marvelous five years, but not to worry, the Phantom will be back. At the Amundsen, Bob Navarro, Channel 5, News of Channel. In other musical ever to command the Los Angeles stage.
The crowd went wild when Curtin came down for the last time at the Amundsen Theater this evening. The Andrew Lloyd Webber musical ran for 51 months to packed houses, including this sellout matinee crowd today. Over the years, the show grossed more than $155 million. All right, time for us to step aside. Martinez was in downtown Los Angeles to see the last performance of The Phantom of the Opera. After a four-and-a-half-year run, Phantom of the Opera's cast members took their final bows to thunderous applause from almost 3,000 lucky fans with tickets for the final Los Angeles performance. These fans got a very personal goodbye from the Phantom himself, actor David Gaines, who's played the part 972 times. Uh, we would have never run this long without your love and support. And on behalf of the entire company, uh, I want to thank you for being there for us. We love you, and God bless you. Despite 1,772 performances of the longest-running musical in Los Angeles history, it's still packing in the fans. Why would you see this between 25 and 30 times? I, I really don't know. The first time I saw it, I think I was just in awe, and I just uh, knew I had to come back to see it again and again. It's a closing of a special time in our life. There's a lot of fans here that have come many, you know, 300 times for some people. If you missed this final Los Angeles performance of Phantom, you can still see it performed by three other companies in the United States. But those who've seen this cast perform say the musical just wouldn't be the same without them. As for the Phantom, he says what he'll miss most isn't the glory, but the people. Just to think back over two years and two and a half years and see their support and their love and how much our lives have changed and grown together. That's, it made me cry last night, and then I realized that at the end of the show tonight, that um, it's about the people you've met and the relationships you've made. In downtown Los Angeles, Sherry Martinez, Fox News. Ever to command the Los Angeles stage. The crowd went wild when Curtin came down for the last time at the Amundsen Theater this evening. The Andrew Lloyd Webber musical ran for 51 months to packed houses, including this sellout matinee crowd today. Over the years, the show grossed more than $155 million. Right. One month run, the curtain has fallen on the Phantom of the Opera. As Stephen O reports, LA's longest running musical closed to tears and enthusiastic applause. Turn your face away from the garish light of day. It is hard to imagine Los Angeles without the Phantom, without his cry for Christine, the sadness in his song, and the mask that made the Phantom very much a part of life in LA. The Phantom of the Opera opened more than four years ago. Michael Crawford wore the mask. So did Robert Guillaume, and finally by Davis Gaines, who took the Phantom through its tearful goodbye. This is my hundredth time to see the show today, <laughs> and I still cry. It's so sad, because they know I'm not going to see it again. It's just knowing that this is going to be their last time, and I'm feeling emotion for them. I'm still reeling right now. It's, uh... Without a doubt, the most exciting night of my entire life. Goodbye, Phantom, after performance number 1,785. <laughs> the gratitude extended to beyond the last curtain call to a private cast and crew and family-only party for a group of people who shared the stage performance after performance. This is finally goodbye. What's so great about them is that we've all stayed together for so long. I mean, that doesn't happen anywhere. Broadway, it doesn't happen. People get replaced. Um, these people have stayed together, and we are a unit, and we, we've we just grown together, and it's I, it's indescribable. And they're just wonderful people. Take what the, uh, you've learned from the Phantom, the story of the Phantom, the compassion, the caring for another human being, and take that and and put it to use in, in your life. To the music of the Saying goodbye to a dear old friend, the Phantom of the Opera. The man who played the Phantom, Davis Gaines, will be back in Los Angeles 
singing for one night only at the Universal Amphitheater on September 18th, singing some of the songs that made the Phantom so famous. Stephen though, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Enter, and what now? Now that the Phantom is just a ghost. So first, I'd like you to meet Mike Forbes, a musician. It's about 7 p.m. yesterday. Cue him. Yeah, that's Mike Forbes. He's playing one of the phantom themes there outside the Amundsen. The last curtain has just rung down. The crowd has thinned out. For the moment, at least, the L.A. phantom is history. Earlier, inside, it was tears, cheers, and California nuttiness. for the nuttiness, like this lady who's seen Phantom 46 times. Yeah, 46 times. <laughs> I love it. I've seen it in Toronto, I've seen it in New York, and I'm going up to Vancouver to see it next month. Are you in the entertainment industry? No, I'm not. Really? So you're just as a, as a as audience? I love it. Have you ever seen anything else 46 times? No, never in my life. As for the Amundsen Theater with it, closed for over a year, while they changed the insides to make it more flexible. Fewer seats for smaller shows, more seats for the big musicals. Outside, the music center is also changing, while with the new Disney Hall under construction for the L.A. Philharmonic, the Chandler Pavilion will be the venue for opera, dance, and, of course, the Academy Awards. Now, back at the Amundsen... Au revoir, Phantom. So, your number, sir. Thank you. Lot 663, then, ladies and gentlemen, a poster for this house's production of Hannibal by Shanimo. Showing it here. Do I have ten francs? Five, then. Five, thank you, five, I am bid. Six, 
Seven against you, sir. Seven. Eight. Eight one. Selling twice. Sold to Raoul Vicomte de Charny. Thank you very much, sir. Lot 664. A wooden pistol and three human skulls. From the 1831 production of Robert Le Diable by Meyer Beer. Ten francs for this. Ten, thank you, ten still. Fifteen, thank you. Fifteen, I am bid. Going at fifteen, your number, sir. Lot 665, ladies and gentlemen. A popular mache musical box in the shape of a barrel organ. Attach the figure of a monkey in Persian robes, plain the symbol. This item, discovered in the vaults of the theater, still in working order, ladies and gentlemen. Showing here. May I commence at 20 francs? Oh, come, come, ladies and gentlemen. 15, then. 15, thank you. Yes, 20 from you, sir. Thank you very much. 25. 25 on my left. Thank you, madam. 25, I am bid. 30. Selling for 30 francs, then. 31. 30 francs. Sold for 30 francs to the Vicomte de Chagny. Thank you once again, sir. Sir. A collector's piece, indeed. Every detail exactly as she said. She often spoke of you, my friend. Your velvet lining and your figurine of lead. Will you still play when all the rest of us are dead? Not six, 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 then. A chandelier in pieces. Some of you may recall the strange affair of the Phantom of the Opera, a mystery never fully explained. We are told, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the very chandelier which figures in the famous disaster. Our workshops have prepared it and wired parts of it for the new electric lights so that we may get a hint of how it may look when reassembled. Perhaps we may frighten away the ghost of so many years ago with a little illumination. Gentlemen!
of Shalamo's Hannibal. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you may perhaps already have met Monsieur André and Monsieur Fuhrman. I am sorry, and Monsieur Lefebvre, we are rehearsing. If you wouldn't mind waiting a moment. My apologies, Monsieur Ray. Proceed, proceed. Thank you, Monsieur Sata. Return, Signor. And Monsieur Ray, our chief repetitor, rather a tyrant, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sad to return to find the land we love. Threatened once more by rotten's for reaching a grasp. Tomorrow we shall break the chains of Rome. Tonight rejoice, here are the eyes. Come home. Signor Pianti, our principal tenor. He does play so well opposite La Carlotta. if you would kindly stand to one side. My apologies, Madam Jury. Ah, Monsieur Lefebvre. Madam Jury, our ballet mistress. I don't mind confessing, Monsieur Fiermer. I shan't be sorry to be rid of the whole blessed business. I keep asking you, Monsieur, why exactly are you retiring? We take a particular pride here in the excellence of our ballet. Who's that girl, the first? Uh, uh, Meg Giri, Madam Giri's daughter. Promising dancer, Monsieur Andre, most promising. You, Christine Daye. Concentrate, ground. Christine, what's the matter? Meg. Daye? Curious name. Swedish. Any relation to the violinist? His daughter, I believe. Always has her head in the clouds, I'm afraid. <laughs> some weeks, there have been rumors of my imminent retirement. I can now tell you that these were all true. And it is my pleasure to introduce to you the two gentlemen who now own the Opera Populaire, Monsieur Richard Firma and Monsieur Gilles André. 
and gentlemen, Signora Carlotta Giudicelli, our leading soprano for five seasons now. Oh, yes. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, Signora, I have experienced all of your greatest roles. Piacere! <clears throat> and Signor Ubaldo Piangi. An honor, Signor. Piacere! If I remember rightly, Elissa has a rather fine aria in Act Three, if anybody. I wonder, Signora, if as a personal favor you would oblige us with a private rendition. Oh. Unless, of course, Monsieur Reyes objects. My monitor commands. Uh, uh, Monsieur Reyes. Oh, my diva <laughs> commands. Will two bars, uh, will two bars be sufficient introduction? Two bars will be quite sufficient. Signora. Mm. Maestro. Ego me, ego me fondly when we've said goodbye. Remember me every so often. Promise me you'll try. Oh, my dear, that not so distant day when you. My witness, I was not at my post. Please, monsieur, there's no one there. And if there is, well, then it must be a ghost. A ghost. Is there? Yes. The phantom of the opera. Good heavens, I have never known such insolence. Uh, Signora, ah. please. Uh, these things do happen. This thing. You've been here five minutes. What do you know? <laughs> See, these things do happen all the time for the past four years. These things do happen. And that you stop the happening? <laughs> no. And you, you're as bad as him. These things do happen. Well, until you stop these things happening, this thing does not happen. Hondo. Andiamo. Amateurs. <laughs> Gentlemen, I don't think there's much more I can do to assist you. Good luck. If you need me, I shall be in Basel. <laughs> La Carlotta will be back. You think so, monsieur? I have a message, sir, from the opera ghost. God in heaven, you are all obsessed. Mm. He merely welcomes you to his opera house, commands that you continue to leave, box five empty for his use, and reminds you that his salary is due. His salary? Monsieur Lefebvre paid him 20,000 francs a month. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps you can afford more with the Vicomte de Chagny as your patron. Oh, Madame! Mm. Ah. Uh, I had hoped to have made that announcement myself. Ah. Will the Vicomte be at the performance this evening, monsieur? Yes. In our box. Madame, who is the understudy for the role? Oh, there is no understudy, monsieur. The production is new. Christine Dare could sing it, sir. The chorus girl. She's been taking uh -huh. lessons from a great teacher. From whom? I don't know, sir. Not you as well. Can you believe it? A full house, uh, and we have to cancel. Hey, let her sing for you, monsieur. She has been well taught. Very well. 
from the beginning of the aria, then, mademoiselle. is doing nothing for my nerves. Don't fret, Kidman. Zerstande Quiz. Komm, Ihre Höss. Now. Bravi, 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 Simi. Christine, Christine. 
Christine. Down, sir. Then come and practice. Rehearsals, always rehearsals. My dear, I was asked to give you this. Hmm? A red scarf, the attic. Little Lottie. Absolutely <laughs> magnificent. And a tour de force. There's no other way to describe it. <laughs> what a relief. Not a single refund. Greedy. Ah, uh, Richard. I think we've made quite a discovery in Miss Diane. Uh, here we are, Monsieur Le Vicomte. <gasps> ah. Yes. Um, gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind, this is one visit I should prefer to make unaccompanied. Ah. As you wish, Monsieur. Oh. Thank you. They appear to have met before. Christine Daae, where is your red scarf? Monsieur? Now you can't have lost it, not after all the trouble I took. I was just 14, soaked to the skin. Because you had run into the sea to fetch my scarf. Oh, Raoul, so it's easy. Christine. Little Lottie, let her mind wander. You remember that too. <laughs> Little Lottie thought, am I fonder of dolls or of goblins of shoes or of riddles of frocks? Those picnics in the attic. Or of chocolates. Father playing the violin. As we read to each other dark stories of the North. Heaven, child, I will send the angel of music to you. Well, father is dead, Raoul, and I have been visited by the angel of music. There's no doubt of that. But now we go to supper. No, Raoul. 
The angel of music is very strange. I shan't keep you up late. Oh, Laurel, I can't. You must change. I must get my hat. Two minutes. Little Lottie. <laughs> Who is that in there? I am your angel of music. Come to me, angel of music. Christine? Angel?
this kingdom where all must pay homage to music. Since the moment I first heard you sing, I have needed you with me to serve me, to sing for my Unfurls its splendor, grasp it, sense it, tremulous and tender. Turn your face away from the garish light of day. Turn your thoughts away from cold, unfeeling land, and listen. Surrender to your darkest dreams. Purge your thoughts of the life you knew before. Close your eyes. Let your spirit start to Oh. 